everyone and it's the end of May now which is time for me to wrap up all my favorites of the month and show you guys in today's video so before I start I just want to make a quick announcement and it's actually been about a year since I started my first YouTube video and my first YouTube video was what's in my bag and I will be doing an updated version of um, that very soon on my channel so keep your eyes peeled for that and I feel like I have grown so much in the past year, um, watching back my old YouTube videos, I feel like, wow, was that really me? And I just want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys today and tell you guys how thankful I am for all the subscribers I got and all the support I have. And if you are a newbie, hello, my name is Kawe and yeah, I make YouTube videos on a weekly basis. I'm a beauty blogger as well and I really enjoy talking to you guys about my favourite products and also my favourite um, products um, from drugstore, from high-end beauty line and what's new in a drugstore or what's new in um, the high-end beauty wise uh, departments. Um, I really enjoy that and I really enjoy making videos even though I have quite a busy schedule. I still managed to fit um some time to film videos every week and i really really enjoy it and i hope you all been enjoying my videos as well and if you are a newbie like i said earlier please subscribe and and support me and i will continue to make videos for you guys so thank you very much for all your support and i'm going to kick things off now with my may favorites this month so i have been really enjoying some new products um this month um and I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to new products. I do tend to test them out and I just love new products as well. So I've been really enjoying a body care product uh, recently. It's not new, but it's um, new to me. So it's from Bath & Body Works and it's the Mad About You 24 hour ultra shea body cream. Now you guys, if you've been following me for a while, no, I love the triple moisture cream. It's really, really moisturizing. And this is a new scent that I picked up from Bath and Body Works when I was back in New York in February. And it's part of the signature collection. So it has a uh, black currant, peony, uh, pink jasmine, patchouli, and vanilla musk. So it's more on a sweet side of fragrances. And I just love how sweet it is. And it's really summery as well. Um, and what I like about it most is that it lingers on your skin afterwards. So if you do put it on after the shower and you head out then it acts as a fragrance and it's a really potent fragrance as well so i really really like this from bath and body works sticking on the subject of scent i've got a new fragrance i've been really enjoying this month and this is from diptyque and it's the flora bellio um, eau de toilette now if you guys seen my summer new in video i've already featured this in my new video and I love it. It's a really unique fragrance and I've been wearing it pretty much every single day this month. I had so many compliments um, on this fragrance and the only downside I have to say about it is that it doesn't last an awful long time. I spray it on about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and it disappears around 12, 1 o'clock uh, lunchtime and you would have to reapply. But I don't like taking the whole bottle with me out in my handbag only because it's really really heavy, it's actual glass and I'm thinking of getting a Traveller to um, decant this and just take it around with me but other than that I think it's a really really great uh, summer fragrance, um, it smells really fresh, it's got apple, it's got coffee beans inside, it's very unique um, to my other fragrances so if you do um, happen to be near a Diptyque counter then I would highly recommend you um, give this a good sniff as well so this is from Diptyque next product i want to talk about is um some skincare products and i have been absolutely obsessing over this sleeping oil and i am a huge fan of facial oils in general i find them they work really well i use a cleansing oil to remove my makeup and then i follow up with a cleansing balm to do a second cleanse and then i follow up with a facial oil i think they perform really well they work really well with your skin and this one from um, sunday riley has been working miracles on my skin this month i picked it up earlier this month so maybe um about three weeks ago and i've done a whole review on my blog as well which i would have a link down below if you're interested but this has been working miracles and it comes with a blue uh, pipette applicator and um the actual liquid is blue as well so what i do take about three drops massage it all over my face and sleep with it and use it in place of a night cream in the morning your skin is more rejuvenated it's more hydrated and i can definitely see a difference with my uh pore size um i'm still a little um skeptical about this um but overall i feel like it's worked really really well on my pore um 
um, enlargement on just by my nose. Um, it's not exactly very attractive, um, but I find since using this oil, it's really, really helped. And I am really a lover for this. So I'm completely converted to this oil and I would definitely be trying out more products from Sunday Rally as well. And I would highly recommend you check out this um, sleep night oil. So this is Luna. Next product I want to talk about is some makeup favourites. Now I've got a lip product that I've been really obsessing over this month. This is from Dior and it's the new in product um, from the Dior Rouge Brilliant in number 760 Times Square and it's just a, it's a liquid lipstick so it's more of a lip gloss lipstick hybrid and it comes with a doe foot applicator which is really really soft and the um, actual colour itself is more of a uh, raspberry colour so really really spring summer and I've just been wearing this um, all over my lips and it does hang around on your lips all day it gives you that shine and even though that shine is gone after a meal or after drinks or something the stain is still there and it just gives you the most gorgeous raspberry shade as well so I've really been enjoying it and I would highly recommend you check it out as well so this is from Dior Next product is a nail fi nail favourite I've been really enjoying. I've got this on my nails now. I've constantly been repainting this on my nails this month and this is from Barry M and it's the speedy dry quick um, nail paint and it's in the shade Lap of Honour. It's, I don't know how to describe the shade. It's almost like a lilac um, purpley shade. Um, it's a bit lighter than a lilac so um, I think it's just such an easy colour to wear and um, pastels are really really in for spring summer as well and they are just really feminine I find and this one in particular goes with every outfit and I just absolutely love it as well so with all drugstore um, nail polishes I find them quite streaky um, but this one is non streaky at all so I applied about two coats of this and it dried really really quickly as the name would suggest and I think it would last around three to five days um, without chipping um, if you've got a good top coat and I just think this is a really really great product as well so I would definitely be picking up more shades um, from this quick dry range and um, yeah it's a really great um, affordable option as well so this is from Barry M. Next product I want to talk about is an eyeshadow now I have been absolutely obsessed over this eyeshadow it's new in from tom ford and it's um the cream and powder eyeshadow in number one naked bronze i am a huge huge fan of tom ford eyeshadows or anything tom ford in general they do do products that i'm not so keen on but a lot of products um they do um are really really good quality and you are paying obviously for the quality of the products and i just absolutely love it i know i've mentioned tom ford in a few of my blog posts last week and a week before but i can tell you guys i'm not sponsored by tom ford i just really like their products as well so if you are after a um, high-end splurge then i would highly recommend check out tom ford's um, collection either if it's permanent or the summer collection it is really really great so this is part of the summer collection and it is limited edition so if you can still get your hands on it then I would highly recommend you do. So the actual um, cream eyeshadow is a really nice bronzy brown colour. I've got it on my eyelids today and I find this a bit easier to use with your fingertips. So I just take my ring finger and just pack it on um, to my lids and then I just follow up with um, the powder eyeshadow which is um, a really nice goldy tone colour and just pack it on the outer corners as well. And this just gives you... Um, eyes a really summery bronzy look and it's really nice with a tan I find so um recently I think I caught a little bit of sun and it looks so so pretty and I think it would suit all complexions as well so this is number one naked bronze moving on to the final favorite I want to talk about this month and it's a bit of a random favorite um it's actually some um tea bags I've been really enjoying this is from a brand called higher living and it's the green tea chai and I like green tea, I like chai tea, and together they just make a really great cup of tea. So it's really different to your standard normal milk tea, and I'm trying to cut down on the amount of tea and coffee I drink because it is starting to get a little ridiculous with five or six cups a day, and I'm trying to cut down to something um, more um, lighter and caffeine free, and this green tea chai is perfect. I picked it up from Hollands and Barrett's, and I actually got recommended um, this by one um, of the girls I work with and she said this is absolutely amazing so it's got 20 tea bags in there and it's a warm and spicy scent as well so green tea is a really nice 
antioxidant and I really like chai tea as well I like the spiciness of chai tea so it's 20 tea bags in one box and they all come individually packed so they're really great to take um, with you if you're on a weekend away or if you like me um, commute to work um, I just pop one of these in my bag every single day and I just make one of these and work so they are individually um, packed and they just taste really really great and if you are a lover of green tea and chai tea as well then I would highly recommend you check these out from Higher Living so these are the green tea chai so that's it guys for this month's uh, monthly favourite I'm going to keep it short and sweet and I hope you all enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching this video and like I said if you are a newbie please subscribe to my channel and I will be making more beauty videos every single week and I hope you all enjoy this video and everything will be linked down below um, that I mentioned today and I hope to see you next week for a new video. Bye!